I had posted this brain teaser on the internet and people told me that I had the answer wrong. They, they were absolutely sure it was not possible that a wind-powered vehicle can never go downwind as fast as or faster than the wind. And I know it sounds, it sounds crazy, it sounds backward, it sounds like perpetual motion, and people insist that it is. People continue to insist that it is. In fact, one of the writers for Make Magazine uh, wrote an article that said it can't be done. So we did it and then we, we made it out of, uh, you know, every awful material at hand. But the, the basic chassis are wooden I-beams that have been uh, dismantled and tapered and put back together and then wrapped. We, we filled it with uh, construction foam and then covered it with fiberglass and carbon to give it the torsional rigidity. Uh, the, the pylons are basically the same construction um, and then we, we made fairings out of foam and covered that with fiberglass just to give it the you know lower wind resistance. The propeller is foam and fiberglass with carbon windsurfing masts as spars. And then we have some steel chassis in the back and, and uh, tandem bicycle wheels, go-kart hubs, uh, you know, anything that we needed from various different things. So initially the, the axles were the same length and it was symmetric, but when we took it out to the Ivanpah Dry Lake, we got it to higher speeds than we anticipated getting, and we were creating much more torque on the prop than we had anticipated because we were getting those higher speeds, and it tried to turn itself over. And because I'm riding in it, I, I decided I didn't want my head round off on the dry lake bed. So we added a longer axle on the left, which looks silly, but it, it looks better than, you know, a ground off head. This was, this was a brain teaser gone horribly wrong, and, and we just took it to a ridiculous extent.